He sponges a prima donna. The dude is so full of himself and in his own world. In fact, I get this vibe from a lot of casters and analysts these days that they think they're superstar celebrities or something. <laughs> Fucking John <laughs> Edwards from Crossing Over. Who's this medium cycle? Like, I'm getting no, no, a vibe. I'm getting yeah, the name yeah. John. Is there yeah, a John yeah. in the audience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not a John. A Julian. A Julian. It's a J. It's a J. Anyone got a J? Anyone got a middle name? That's a J. Yeah, this guy's fucking unreal. This guy who appears on this video game stream that we're all discussing obsessively at four in the morning thinks he's famous or something. He isn't better. <laughs> 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 Like I was trying to do basically where you, just, you know where you just I think it's appropriate but oh, bro now of course Mike's gone oh, broken out back. Mike's gone there you go back. 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 There you're back you're back no that's exactly what they're like they're like the guy who's just like barely holding it together with their shit opinion in a bar they're just about to get thrown out on their ass aren't they so sorry Sam you gotta be Beep. out there a sorry, fucking bunch boys. I might just do one episode where I just throw the word oh, and geez. just to fuck with you for an entire <laughs> for an entire show like uh, but anyway, do do go and support them. And of course, shout out to the patrons that brought the podcast back from the dead um, so we can rap about Gats instead. Right, let's um, <laughs> let's get on. <laughs> let's shout out to Akala, mate. I just say it like that. My I just say it like that. So it's cool, I know. He's just putting that in under the wire, like, <laughs> talking about them Gats. Uh, shout out to Akala. Anyway. Like when Tim West <laughs> talks and he's just like, Tim man, Westwood I caught a bullet. And you're like, Please don't you yeah, do this. Yeah, Tim Westwood, you're in my neighborhood. You know what's good. It's the I'm big boy guys. with do do do. It's when he's pressing yeah. all those buttons for like the soundboard. Get me out. I'm 56 <laughs> and the son of a vicar. <laughs> it's when someone comes on and does like a freestyle, but they're like a proper American hood rapper and they're like, you know, like push pound to the hood. And he's like, preach. So, like, I know. Get me out. Yeah. You are like yeah, a preach. year year old man or something. Like, get me out. <laughs> preach. Church. Straight up dog. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Straight yeah. up home slice. Fire. 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 <laughs> That's the bottom line. <laughs> right, anyway. You know when you said that Charles de Gaulle is a Somalia of international airports, I didn't realise I tweeted that. Yeah, I, tweeted I think it was that. you. I think no, it was, yeah, you. it was me. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. Charles de Gaulle messaged me like, What's your feedback? This I wrote this after I got trapped in Charles de Gaulle, mate. I got trapped. Like they, they literally, I'm not even joking, this is true. They built a wall while I was there that I couldn't get past when I had to get to this point. So they sent me down one place. I needed to go to another place to get a connection. When Just I got down there, a guy work. like pulled he pulled like da, 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 Build da, da, that da. wall. No <laughs> full crystal maze in me again. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, well, what do I do? I'm walking back in, and yeah. forth. It's a toilet. I'm, I'm saying we're cleaner. Like, mate, I'm just trapped in this <laughs> like, nah, <laughs> You're doing the challenge without him. We don't need him. He'd only be yeah. grabbing them silvers no, anyway. It's meant, like, it's meant like you literally like, just locked me in a corridor. Like, what the fuck's going on here? By the way, I'm talking to this cleaner. Yeah. I was talking to this cleaner, and the cleaner, like, cleaner, like he's shrugging his shoulders. I'm like, how do you get out, mate? How do you get out? You can't come past there. It's security. I'm going, but there's no other fucking doors. Like, this can't be real, mate. You can't just put up a wall. So I had to go to the wall I just put up. I'm knocking on the fucking wall. This bored looking motherfucker comes out. Like, scuffed up. This is all true, mate. It's all true. This scuffed up fucking uniform. Tie all skew with, like, clearly having his fucking siesta or whatever the fuck. Having a nap in the afternoon. Pulls the door aside like this. Like, like fucking here's Johnny, like sticks his head through, like, hello, I can help you. You can get me out of this fucking cage. You just want me in your mad bastard. Like, I got a flight to catch. Didn't make that flight, like, go fuck myself. And then they, there are no rules there, bro. There's no rules, like, you're on your own, son. So, like, you fucking. You know what I mean? Like, you you saying that, like, there, and then, like, they go, oh, yeah, interested in your feedback. You don't want it. You can't handle it. Like, you, if you can ever explain to me why you build a wall in the middle of me walking down a fucking <laughs> corridor and just lock me in at a fucking international airport, there ain't no feedback for that. I'm just don't do that. I'm you are going to get done, but you think I was the end? Here we go. They're trapping me No, like, me legit in. as well. Like, think about it, man. You think you're going to get fucking clipped or something? It's so weird, like. You know, Richard Lewis, you're, you're, a, you're a small man. That's what he was saying on Twitter. You're a small man. Like, and he just kept repeating that phrase, like, small man, small man. So I was like, mate, you're fucking two meters away from me tweeting at me about what a small man I am. So I'm going to show you what a small man I am. Keep in mind as well, I've been ravaged by this event, dehydrated, carrying a PC into work every day, having to fight just to fucking sit down at my press desk because apparently nobody can remember a fucking face. So I get there and I'm like going, all right, small man. 
stand up then, talk. You know what I mean? He was going, oh no, but what I meant was, I mean, in your soul. He was like coming up with all these like, mad reasons. Like, I, mean, I fucking don't mean I got a small soul. Here. He thought he was like, but, he thought he was, but what now though? But what now though? But what now though? Yeah, 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 but what now though? So I was going full temper tea. I was like, smash all the things in your fridge. I was like, come at him like that. And he weren't ready for that. But then no, that you, you miss off the even craziest bit with this fucking bitch. So what happens is, right? He fucking apologizes and said, I shouldn't have called you a small man. You're, I can see you're a very big man. I can see you can handle yourself, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> then he then he sat down right and he and i was like well that's very big in soul i see it no no, no 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 like legit he said that i swear 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 like because i never told this story before so 100 percent, this is legit right okay. so he fucking sits down and then he gets up again he walks over and he goes listen i just want you to know i i, I did apologize to you but not because i was scared and i went what and he went i just want you to know that i'm not scared of you so i get up again I get up again, I'm like, all right, so you ain't scared then. So the double so, stand up now. Yeah, why don't we just go and do this outside thing? Like, I'll just take you outside away from the security and like see see if you're scared or not. Like, cause cause mate, you've been you've been riding me for years. Like people don't even understand. He published a story saying I was oh, a he thief. Needle all sorts he of shit. He published a story yeah. saying I was a thief on that garbage site Rakaka. Oh, for the Because portals, somebody yeah. on Cadred misused the fucking picture, which happened every day in esports. Of course. So he got a cartoonist to draw my face dressed in a black and white jumper, carrying the fucking swag bag and publish that <laughs> Richard Lewis from Four Kings teeth so, like so that, like that. so he's but he was he was already on my fucking dick so I'm just like, listen, mate, like I already had, I already got fucking time for you. But no, I'm a small man. Nah, it ain't happening. So anyway, he apologized and he fucking said, like, oh, I didn't do it because I'm scared of you. I got up, I made him scared again. He sat down and then he got up a third time and he came over and went, Richard, I just want to say though, you're like a caveman. We don't do this in where I'm from in Sweden, we don't be able I'm trying to sit down, mate. Trying to get yourself fucking. <laughs> How many chances does this guy need? Up for Trump? Yeah, I know. Like, so obviously he was holding on to that shit when all the load of stuff went down. To any of the people who speak up for the virtues of fucking ad block, right? To any of the people who speak up for the virtues of ad block actually use the whitelist, you know, for the fucking sites that they do like and do oh, want to support. Not. not one of you has a fucking whitelist. And they make it Just sound like they're the a fucking fuck up. community hero figure, do it, it, don't they? They make it sound like they've done something huge. You know what? I like your content, so I'm gonna I'm gonna whitelist you. Thanks for the one cent, fam. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the one cent. Literally, would make more on a fucking street corner in Vegas right now. <laughs> fucking, it's all about that beats. About that beats. <laughs> fucking dancing while fucking drunk gamblers launch pennies at my fucking red head. Like, yeah, brilliant. Uh, maybe we could do a collection of all of Biden, Joe Biden's outrageous speeches. <laughs> uh, have, have you seen the one he's done now? No, no, what's the most recent the clip one? of him now? I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but you did also tweet out you wanted to do a podcast about anything other than Counter-Strike. Please get me out. Uh, well, anyway, he did this, he did this uh, speech where he was, you know, he was out there on the campaign trail. And I'll just read you what he said. He was talking about when he used to work as a pool attendant. Uh, he keeps bringing that up for some reason. I guess it makes him. Where's this going? Fuck it up. Right, well, no, but you tell me, mate. I'll read it word for word for you. Give me a break. I have, I have hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun, and the kids used to reach in the pool and rub my leg down, and watch the hair come back up again. And I'll tell you what, the men, the guys I worked with down here, they were all guys at the time. I, I don't know what any of that means. Holy right. shit! He accidentally like veers into sort of like transitioning or something at the end, like some sort of weird <laughs> I told me I don't know what I, I don't know what's going on there honestly I, I think um, I, I think I think as I've said for 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 most of the campaign trail I think he's veering into what is clearly easily diagnosable dementia and it has to stop and and it's not going to stop it's, it's it's getting to the point of absolute awful tragedy but could you just listen to that clip Duncan you you listen Sounds amazing Yeah that's what we can do for the 100th episode I guess like we'll get Biden's gaffes there you go uh, so, but pounder 420, this is the question that Duncan was alluding to right at the start. What percentage of your current body weight have you jetted in your lifetime? So, thanks, Dick Stacey. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, That's the first question he asks on date. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Are we I, actually going to try and do the math on it? Like, I can Google uh, the I, weight I of a know. teaspoon of jet if it's really First of all, you're not yeah, going to trick me into teaspoon. telling you my yeah. body weight. There's step mm. one. You're not going to get. You're not going to trick me into telling me my body weight. Secondly, mm. I haven't given that much. Here's the thing. I don't know about you. My a lot of my thought involved in that whole process 
goes right up until the point that I start jetting. And at that point, I tend to sort of like shut off thinking. <laughs> sort of, I try to just enjoy it, really. I don't start going, hmm, two and a half teaspoons full. Or would that be in America? You know. yeah, but, you know, You've like, been eating your wheat a bit <laughs> know, exactly. well, done, mate. You know, well, good aim me. as well, more impressive. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's like, you know. like, no, listen, man, I, I even purposely eat the pineapples just to make it taste better for the girls. <laughs> but then I do put a bit of Tabasco in because you know, fucking kick treat them. <laughs> the, the idea that you've ever eaten fruit, I have, fucking no, like no. that. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> when I was just watching that, best of by the numbers that come out, and you were going, What sort of demented oh, cunt came up with toffee apples? I was like, Some people do like fruit no, cunt. No. Yeah, in the fucking Bible. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I do eat pineapple when it's on pizza, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, yeah. holy yeah, yeah. shit! Yeah. Let's let's yeah, have yeah. an identity based around pizza topping stuff, cunts. You're, this is the most disappointing. <laughs> whack. You know what? You know what, guys? I'm going to say one thing right now that's going to hurt you all. Why did we badly. bring a pie Are you ready? Yeah. The current Star Wars trilogy is the Star Wars trilogy you deserve. That's your style. That's who <laughs> you are as Star Wars. You know what? I'll take it on the chin. We're the shit cunt prequels. None of us are the 70s, much beloved original trilogy, but you're the fucking mm. Force Awakens. That's who you fans are. People who have opinions based on pizza toppings who go big oof. Oh, yikes. Oh, that age. Well, but yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> are you literally a character in an old school RPG who has four things they can say? Like, I don't want to know the way to Kakariko Village. I told you before. <laughs> I'm not even playing that. I'm playing fucking Metal Gear Solid. You're playing fucking Zelda. Snake. Like, no more references. There's too many yeah, stuff on top of each other. So anyway, um, then we're burning man in You, yeah. <laughs> Dun Duncan Thorin Shields in Outburst says Zoomers deserve Admiral Gender Studies. <laughs> there you go. That's quite a headline. Uh, right the there. serious That's question. actually better than anything they do, though. That's the problem, isn't it? It's too good a headline. <laughs> Next year, I'm going to do daily content. So there you go. Yeah. It's a lie, Bang of course. We'll yeah, be wrecked. We'll you wrecked to, the entire yeah, you time. You need to make some sort of a rule then. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, what's it needs that? to be a rule before 6 p.m. your time. <laughs> No consumption of any substances. Yeah, that may nothing's going to get done, mate. Nothing's going to get done. Yeah, but what you see, this is the trouble with you, Sam. What you do is, right, you've mind fucked yourself into thinking the drugs make you active. <laughs> he thinks it's a performance enhancement. Yeah, no, he, he's like, he's like Sam me, it's on the list. doing rails it's before he goes list. on stage. No, I need to do this. It makes yeah, me exactly, better. Yeah. It inspires me creatively. It's a character. It's a character. Done that for anybody. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, no, that doesn't happen. Like, you just get baked and watch fucking 10 seasons of Dog the on dog. You know, there is one thing. Here's the thing. I'll tell you right now, I do think Sam Kinison was brilliant. I love a lot of his material. But at the same time, if people just don't understand drugs, like, that wasn't just insane charisma where he was like, ah! <laughs> that's, that's, just that's just okay before the show i'll be I'll, doing I'll, that at a party mate if you fucking give me too much <laughs> i'll 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 say this about sam kinnison like great in 10 minute bursts but yeah. fun. Oh, much I like much like cocaine in off. a lot of ways yeah. Yeah. um but, but like imagine a two-hour HBO special of that, it would be fucking exhausting. I think so. Um, Absolutely, you know, yeah. Dead now, of course. So irrelevant. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can't sue us for definition. So. What's one surefire way to fucking annoy somebody in an argument? You just take one phrase, and you just repeat it. You ever seen kids do that? Yeah, I know, but what are you? Yeah, I know I am, but what are you? Yeah, I know you are, but what are you? whatever. They fucking just jabber on, like fucking Starscream in fucking Transformers. The Megatron goes, fuck this! Fucking gives him the big elbow or the fucking skull. Because it, it breaks you psychologically. So what, like, torture <laughs> technique. Torture technique. What, like, right, they fucking, you ever heard of water torture? Lying down, <laughs> drip fucking drop on your fucking forehead. <laughs> really. You, you ever heard of water heard torture, of mate? You ever heard of this? <laughs> Have you not heard of this? Do you not understand? A fucking repetition <laughs> is just... <laughs> Yeah, like, but serious now, right? Those motherfuckers in Guantanamo Bay were watching that fucking ESL thing. Man, that yeah, was bad. Exactly. At least they only force fed me a Quran and played Metallica at me at fucking 4 a.m. They've started, they've started feeding a dense crowds into the fucking Guantanamo Bay. No, like, Bay. legit, those 10 cunts. I bet the CIA called them up now. You guys are really onto something with this. Let's go, Astralis. Let's go. Can we can we bring you into the fucking. We, we got a terrorist we need to fucking break. I'll tell you where we the bombs are. How yeah. oh, God, no. Oh. <laughs> we did it! Let's fucking stop it, guys! They just have a bit of fucking self-awareness! Right, I'm done with that. Fuck that material. <laughs>
Timestamp it all. That's coming soon to my Broadway show. <laughs> Richard Lewis hates the fans. Guantanamo. Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Could it have been worse? Astralis <laughs> think yes. Who were like, we're all mates now, you know, they run Code Red now. But uh, anyway, they, they fucking hated me. And all those players hated all of our players. And we fucking were up late last night because we had like Hud's G who's like, you know, known for this shit. And he was staying up and he was going like, oh, guns, do you think we'll win tomorrow? It's like 4 a.m. I'm like, get to bed, George, get to bed. Like we're all in the hotel room together. We all been watching demos. And when we went in and we won that game, it was like a triple overtime on Inferno. Like, so and we won it because somebody didn't buy a defuse kit on Crack Clan. Henry fucking stood up, throws his fucking headset down. He's like, he's fucked it, lads! He's fucked it! So it's just it's just 10 seconds of knowing you've lost while you try and do a full defuse. And Henry's like, he's fucked it, lads! He's fucked it! Like, reckon... True um, UK spirit, of course. Yeah, reckon... Because we were, like, two rows apart, and everybody wanted to see that game that day. That was, like, the big grudge match. So we didn't even need an admin partition. We were just surrounded by people on the fucking tables, right? So I'm in a trance, me, like, there's a famous picture. Well, not famous, you know, because I'm not famous, but you, you get my point. There was this picture that gets put around a lot, and it's Hudge G going like, oh, like this. Henry G with the headset down, shouting, he's fucked it. And me just like, like in a trance-like <laughs> state, like, you just full, full bruh, James Banks in. Would you look at that? It just hasn't gone in at all that we've won the game with this 10-second gap. And then boom, when we fucking, when we, when we, when the bomb fucking went off and we won, we're all, literally, we fucking piled in on each other, like, because, you know, we, we collapsed the fucking table. There was some poor kid who was just playing next to us, nothing to do with the team. <laughs> Completely it's wrecked It's just an I-series. Yeah, because yeah, it's an I-series, so it's just some fucking pleb who's, like, playing it. Like, <laughs> he, he's just playing World of Warcraft, and we're, we're fucking <laughs> jumping on the tables Ridiculous. and shit. And and like it was it was just a like huge adrenaline dump because so much went into that game. Now we got absolutely fucking wrecked in the next round, and we went out in like fourth place or something stupid.